Hello and welcome back to the Blue Belly Gaming channel. Um, today I want to show everyone how to make a sheep farm and I'm going to keep with my debt free theme and show you how to do this debt free. I just loaded up a brand new game, career mode game on farm manager and we'll go ahead and go with Ravenport. So no tricks up my sleeve here, just a regular. We're going to deselect all of the mods. Just going to play this plain vanilla style. Nothing fancy. We're going to place a sheep pen. And I'm going to show you they really only need two things. And so I'll show you how to provide those things. And then once that is done, I will show you how to take their wool to the spinnery so you'll be able to do the full cycle of starting out with the sheep and then how to keep them happy the sheep i think are the most accessible second maybe to the chickens but the sheep are very accessible if you're new to farming simulator or you're new to animal husbandry on farming simulator so here we are starting out this is the same no matter really what style you want to play. You start off here, down here in the corner. I'm going to go ahead and click lands. I'm going to click here. I'm going to purchase this area. Now, to, go, to make sure that we're debt free, we want to go up here. We're going to click repay on our, there was a $250,000 loan. We're going to pay that entirely back. Pardon the clicks. Okay, so we've got 637,000 to play with, and we're we're on our land now. So you can see we've got some sunflowers. The sheep don't care about sunflowers. We've got some canola. Sheep don't care about canola. And what is this? A cotton field down here? Maybe no. Yes, the cotton field down here. So. <clears throat> What the sheep want is grass <laughs> and we've got a little of that growing in here so i might just for fun show you how to how to mow and pick up with with a loading wagon if folks are interested in that but first step before we do anything else we want to go here to the placeables go to the animal pens and find i'm gonna go with the smaller sheep pasture it's the same principle with the larger one. I would say start off small, see if you like it. It's much easier to sell if you end up not liking it. So here we are. It's going to give us the option to place this. I don't want to place it in our cotton field. Not that it'll let me. Uh, up on the hill, there's going to be some problems. We would have to do some terraforming for that. Here's a nice flat spot. We might, might could put them there. I'll think about that. But I also like this down here. And if you've watched my other tutorials, You'll know I've placed a few things here. Now, if you look at the hologram here, I can't point it out because my cursor is stuck, but we've got a few different things here, a few different locations. One is where the wool is going to appear. One is where you go to buy the animals. And the other, uh, the other, the others, there are two others that are the food and water troughs. So I'd love to be able to place it a little bit further out here but what I'm gonna do is rotate this around so that the flat side is up against our field or the closest to our field this flat side if it'll let me do that see how that side that's closest to the field doesn't have any troughs on it at all I'd love to be able to put ooh, that's close that's close to where I would like it I'd like it sort of like there probably in an ideal world, but it doesn't seem to want to let me do that. Uh, if I hit left control and Q, that'll sink it down so that I shouldn't have uh, elevation issues. There it was. Let's do that. If I can get it to come back. Okay, there we go. So we've got no elevation issues. We should be able to get around to everything we need. Okay, let's go buy a tractor and some toys. We'll go here to, this is the letter P, to your store, your store menu. Nothing fancy. 
sheep aren't super intensive, but I, I, for my first tractor on a farm, I always like to go with a medium tractor. Uh, the last tutorial I did, I went with this Massey Ferguson because I like the 210 horsepower, but just for something fun this time, maybe I'll check out this Fent. I'll put a front loader attacher on it, and yeah, see, that'll go to 200. Let's do that. Let's let's bump up this Fent to the, to the 200 horse. We'll go ahead and buy it, all right? And then we're gonna go here to the attachments. We'll get a front loader. So they want this one for anything more than 150. So we need this one. Fine with the black color. I know some people are pickier about it. Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and get the bale spike so that we can pick up a grass bale. Feed the old sheeps. The other thing we want to grab, which I forgot, is this water tank. Uh, when it when I'm doing when I'm setting up a cow farm, I like to use this one because it'll allow us to haul milk as well. But for a sheep farm, we don't need to worry about as many factors. So I'm happy to go with with just this plain old Aquatrans. If you're playing modded, of course, you can find other things that haul water for this. But like I said, I want this to be a vanilla playthrough. And the last thing we want to purchase while we're up there is... We're going we're gonna to purchase a hay bale. Now, don't at me, okay? I'm just doing this for demonstration. I would never... I shouldn't say never. I would rarely do that. After we get some sheep purchased and the basics set up, I will show you how to gather grass with a mower and a loading wagon, which is the way I would mow, you know, more often recommend you handle your business. This is just for the absolute starting out. You can you can give them hay. I don't give them hay the rest of the time because hay costs more to produce. But for the low low price of six hundred and fifty dollars, I can't pass up getting our, our farm started with this one before we get to the okay. so Get this nice looking fence here hitched up to our water tank and we'll head on down. Now if you if this is the first uh, tutorial you found on my uh, channel, thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate you being here. Uh, one thing I like to say is there's a million ways to play Farming Simulator and you might disagree with literally everything I've done or you might think, oh, there's, there's, that's a different way. Uh, and that's my goal here is not to be the definitive guide. Uh, first of all, if I was the definitive guide, I would tell you to drive on the proper side of the street. I just hit a sign. So clearly, I'm not a guru, but I love this game, and I have put a lot of hours. I started with farming in 15 on an old laptop, and then I played 17 on a console, and now I'm playing 19 on a PC. And part of the reason I got, I built the gaming PC was because I wanted to play this game. And I am doing these vanilla playthrough, or I should say, tutorials, largely because I remember what it was like being on console, and other people had all this cool stuff, and I didn't have access to it. And so I want to teach people to love the game like I would. Alright, so we'll, let's go to the P button here, we'll go to the placeables. We're going to go to miscellaneous and place this water station. Uh, this is, some people would say, you know, just go dip your, dip your wheels in, there's probably water accessible down there. True, there probably is, but this place, this tutorial is meant to help people learn how to set things up and I don't necessarily do that <laughs> with, with uh, okay so let me say it this way 
when I'm playing, I am more than happy to go and dip the Bowser, water Bowser, into free water somewhere to save a couple hundred bucks. But when you're starting out, you might as well spend the five grand, and this is limitless. Alright, so if you're wondering which trough is which, the best way to tell is this one is food, because it's, it's flat and it's got the angles. And this one looks like a bowl, I guess you'd say. And it looks like a water trough because it's for water. So if I do this right, I might be able to just park in between and move the water straight over. But before it will let you fill the water or the food, you have to come over here to the animal dialogue box. Now, again, there's another way to do this. You could drive an animal trailer up to the dealer and purchase them that way. This is just the quick and easy way. So we've got white ones, brown ones, black and white ones, and black ones. My recommendation is always to get however many you're going to get of the same thing. So if you want white ones, do that. Whatever. I'm going to do these fancy looking ones here. And I'm going to start us off with... Yeah, let's say six. That sounds right. That's 9600 bucks. Not too bad. We have six sheep, and they're out there now. How exciting. Isn't this exciting? I think this is exciting. Hi, sheep. They look handsome. Handsome little devils. And we are going to hop back in here. Just to keep things easy, I'm going to drop off the water bowser there. The sheep should be more than happy to take this hay off of my hands here. Just like that. It, and so that didn't disappear. And I'll tell you why it didn't disappear. Because their their demand is not 4,000. Their demand is less than that. And the way we can check that, you hit your menu button and you click on the animals it'll tell you their status it hasn't calculated all of this yet but once i get them some water the productivity will come up they only needed 3000 so this isn't perfect uh, i'll tell you what i'll do just to help out here we will purchase let's do We'll buy four more sheep. And now the now the bale is gone. And if we check our status now, the four thousand so this is for an entire week. So we don't really need to go get grass for a long time. And think about it, that hay is only six hundred and fifty dollars. It's really not that bad. Now that wouldn't be long term viable. And most people, if you're going to have a sheep farm, you're gonna take these three fields here. And you're going to not keep them as things like canola. You're going to go and seed it as grass, and you're going to grow grass. That's just how it works. So we're going to fill this water bowels up. I went ahead and purchased this. One thing, if you're really scraping by, if you're doing like start from scratch or something like that, you might uh, lease it because you're only going to have it. You're only going to need it one day out of the seven. You're going to pop it off, top off your sheep water and then return your water bowser and go do other things for a week. I feel like I should have one of those, uh, not the how's my driving, but the pardon, pardon my driving. The uh, driver is trying to talk and drive at the same time and he is not coordinated. Okay, anyways, so we'll fill up this water Oh, look at that. We are just golden on this. Okay, so there's a, you know, with this land here, there are a couple different things you might want to do with it. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and show you for the sake of, of fun and, dare I say, entertainment value. I'm going to go ahead and show you. I'm just dropping these tools off here. That was not, the, not what I was trying to do. We're going to try dropping that off. And we're going to run back up to the 
not run, drive, drive back up to the store and purchase a mower. This has a front link, you just gonna say, don't tell me about a tractor that doesn't have a front link. We're gonna put a mower up there and we're gonna put a loading wagon back here. We're gonna come down to the farm and gather up some grass. Just so you can see how that works, how to get free grass that you haven't even planted that you can feed your animals with. Uh, one thing you'll notice with sheep, there's no uh, straw to deal with. That's really nice. <laughs> but the flip side is you're not going to get anything else out of them. All they produce is wool. So in the time that it takes us to do this, I may have to speed up time a little bit to get that first pallet of wool. But we'll do this. We'll give them a little bit of the grass that we mow. And then we'll check and see if we get the first pallet of, of wool. And I'll show you how to take that to the spinnery. And we'll be all, we'll be all done with this this video. I'm hoping that this style, you know, it's narrative, it's a little slower. I'm not going to give you the, oh my gosh, look at all these cool things. You know, I'm not, I'm not that kind of personality in real life, so I'm not going to bring that to YouTube. But I know that this game had a steep learning curve for me, so I'm hoping that this will help other people. All right, so we want two different implements. We want a mower right here. You can go with whatever you want. I, I, to me, it makes sense to go with this one because we're going to put it on the front so we can mow and gather at the same time. So I'll go ahead and buy it. If I was running a sheep farm, I would definitely purchase this. Uh, down the road when you're mowing a lot more, you might want to do the bat wing and do three wide and get a wind rower and so on and so forth. But we're just going to keep it simple here. Uh, I It irritates me. It's one of the few things I'll complain about in a video like this. But it irritates me that the cheapest one of these, without going modded, is 46000 But they're huge in real life and very necessary for this process. So, bite the bullet. It's free, you know, it's just, it's just pretend money. That's what I try to tell myself. When I get upset about how much it costs, I think, Oh, just go do a couple contracts, you lazy, lazy person, and, and, and buy yourself the equipment that you need to run the farm with you. So here we go, we'll head on back. Uh, in past versions of the game, you could you could mow anything, <laughs> which was nice because you could just go use like public land to mow it. Uh, like there, there's some land along the railroad tracks up there that I would have totally just mowed and gotten you know, 2,000 liters worth of grass out of it and then driven back to my farm. But that's not the case in, in this one, so you can only cut the grass that's on your land. But it doesn't have to be, you know, specially planted grass or feed. It can just be whatever grass is on your farm. So that's why I'm a big fan of this setup here. You're gonna, it's all one go. You can just literally drive around your farm. And even if, let's say, I don't know, this would be insane, but let's say you only gather 500 liters that's still a nice little chunk. And since the grass grows back every day and unmodded vanished, oh, yeah, sorry, that's another game that I played. An unmodded farming simulator. Uh, you can do this all the time. So here's what I'm gonna do. I think we're pretty close to being on our land now. So we'll go ahead and lower that down and turn it on. We'll switch to the mower. We'll unfold it, lower it down and turn it on. Here we go. Now you can see at the front it's mowing, and now on the, at the back it's picking it up. So I'm just going to go right along here and get this grass. Here we go. We already got the 500 I was talking about. We'll just we'll just get a little bit. I'm not going to make a two-hour-long video about mowing grass. There are YouTubers that would do that and have done that, but I'm not going to do that. We're already at 2,000 liters. So, you know, when we're looking at that bale that filled it with hay, you could you could easily get 10,000 liters worth of grass off of this patch. I bet between that little bit and going all the way around the outside. I mean, I'm 
I'm not a betting man per se, but I bet you could get quite a bit. Because we're, we're approaching 4,000 liters, and we've only done barely two, two edges of this thing. So you get the idea, right? You get the idea, this is how it's gonna work. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the influence. And I'm gonna come back over, and oversteer this thing a little bit. It gets excitable, easily excitable tractor. I'll go ahead and put this here. I should, if I'm on the wagon, give me the option there it goes so if I hit the letter I on here I forget the button on so it let me put that in there and now when we check on the status of our animals we've got a full 5,000 grass and hay we've got 100% clean which you'll I forgot to get a bucket but you'll need to get a bucket to keep this clean you can use your front loader that we put over there and then water, they're slowly working on the water. But we've got a whole water bowser. Okay, so that's gonna be good to go. I'm going to park this over here. I'm not gonna buy an equipment trailer, or an equipment shed or tutorial. But I'm gonna set this over here and we're gonna zoom ahead in time until we get our first pallet of wool. And I will show you how so or where to deliver the wood and, and how to do that with the front loader and I, I actually use the bail spike it's probably a little bit lazy of me you probably should get a pallet for it but. okay now this is going to spawn in right here so we're going to go you should probably already know how to change your time but put it on this with 10 sheep it's gonna take quite a while um, so if it becomes unbearingly long in the video I can always go in and and splice the film uh, there's an old-timer term right splicing film I can I can edit the video and take the waiting out but we're gonna go ahead and uh, get this I'll show you on the map where we're gonna go we are gonna go to the spinnery which I if I recall is back close to where we were going we passed it on our way to the shop it's just up here on the right so this is a really nice place to set up a sheep farm actually you have pretty much everything you need on this stretch and if you're waiting for pallets to spawn, you don't know what to do, you're kind of bored, you can accept contracts on some of these down here. If you need equipment you don't have, you can get it from the shop. So this is actually a really nice way to, to get your start in Farming Simulator. You can try all sorts of different contracts in these things. Aha! There it is. It hath arrived. Look at that. All it took was a brief conversation about the map. I didn't even get my tractor ready. I was too busy goofing around. Now, let me show you how to do this. We will get the, the forks back on here. Isn't this so cool? I'm sorry. I've been playing this for a long time, but it's still, it's so cool that here I am, not a farmer at all getting to do something that real farmers do. Now this isn't going to be a lot of wool because it just spawned in, but if you wait until it gets all four on there, I believe it is a thousand liters. So each little st stuff ball there, <laughs> package of wool, I guess is, would be the right way to put it. Each little section of wool is effectively 250 liters, but since it's just appeared, as far as I know, it could be 10. Uh, we're not going to get paid a lot, but I just want to show you what the process looks like. So you wait until you get all four in here. You can load up a bale trailer, you can take them one at a time, it's really up to you. But here it is, it's the Cozy Wool Traditional Spinnery. We, we turn up here, and there will be a nice little drop-off place labeled, and if you're not on a trailer, you just drive into it. 
Ta-da! Seven dollars. Okay. Uh, not a lot. Not worth our time. Uh, but that was... It had not produced very much wool at the time that we did it. But I wanted to show you how to complete the process. And that's how you generate your income on your sheep farm. So, how, how many pallets full of wool will you have to take back here to make up the $250,000 you spent? <laughs> 250 <laughs> 250 pallets later you will either be so in love with this game you'll be modding the heck out of it or you will be sick of sheep and wool and all that that has to offer so anyways i hope everyone had a great time and learned something about setting up a sheep farm on farming simulator 19. If you have any questions or comments, absolutely feel free to leave a question for me down below. Thanks everyone for your time and attention. Have a great day. Bye-bye.